Good morning! Liam, what are we gonna do today? Are we gonna look at puppies? Are we gonna look at puppies? Let's go look at puppies! Also, how cute is his outfit? It's from Target, I believe. sun little man it was bright oh the sun is rearing to go today good morning everybody welcome back to a brand new vlog today is one of those vlogs it's actually a vlog I've never ever filmed before and I'm very excited about today if you hear the crinkle 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 Liam has this book it's a crinkle book he loves it Liam right now is all about the textures he likes to feel the couch like sweatshirts patches he loves textures apologies in advance for that noise in the background but today guys we are going to look at puppies now they're not for Larry and I and Liam this is for my mom Ever since my mom was little, she has always wanted Lassie, like the Lassie dog, the rough collie. So we are going to pick up my mom this morning and we are heading out to look at some puppies. Now there is a litter that's ready to go home right now. And then there's a litter that I guess the puppies look exactly like Lassie. Mom wants like the Lassie dog. They won't be ready to go till March. So we may or may not be coming home with a puppy today, but regardless we're coming home with a puppy either today or the week of march 1st which is only a few days away so we're very excited i'm excited for liam to meet some puppies too and we think it'll be cute for them to grow up together so we're gonna go on a road trip journey today to go look at some puppies so i hope you guys enjoy this video and coming along with us we are waiting for larry to hop in the car we need to stop at the bank we need to fuel up we're gonna hit starbucks get ourselves some road beverages and then we'll be on our way. So it's an exciting day for my mom, for sure, for all of us. We've been looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to it. Just honestly, I've been looking forward to getting out of the house and going on a road trip. We had a road trip last week where we met up with some of Larry's friends and it was so lovely and it's just, I'm like itching for travel and itching to go on a vacation. So these little road trips here and there are great for me. I really enjoy them. So anyways, Let's go, guys. We have picked up mom. Yay! She's in the back riding with Liam. How excited are you for today, Ma? Oh, I'm very excited. Yes. This is one of my bucket list items. This is a bucket list item for mom. And mom has rescued so many animals along the way. This is her dream doggy. So. I've rescued horses, cats, dogs. Rescue, 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 rescue. So today is the day. We're at Starbucks officially. It's, our errands took a little longer. I think it put us about an hour behind schedule. Everybody's busy today. So we're gonna order us some food, some drinks, and finally hit the highway. I got the best backseat partner there is. Yeah, you do. I get the best backseat partner. All right, Larry, would you like a peppermint hot chocolate? Yeah, we'll give it a whirl. Grande or venti? Uh, grande. Okay. Me Mom, you want a venti, right? Hi, thank Whatever's you so much the for biggest. choosing us. Hi, Lex. Is there any breakfast items to make this federal pizza? Uh, yes. Actually, can I have the lemon loaf? Yeah. Uh, get a pumpkin loaf. A, pum a pumpkin loaf warmed, please. Pumpkin loaf warmed. I'll do the sausage, cheddar, and egg sandwich. A grande pistachio cream cold brew. All right. A grande peppermint hot chocolate. Um, okay, and then I'll do a venti... Italian roast hot with cream. Poor Liam. Yay. No hot chocolate for the little man yet. Mm. Not yet, bud. Uh, ah. <laughs> Joke's on you guys. One day I'll get me a peppermint hot chocolate like dad, huh? He might be a java drinker. No, not when he's not. little. I have started drinking it about 15, 14, 15. What shocks me at 14, 15, I did not like coffee. Well, my dad worked swing shift at a still mill, so I had to, I would get up early in the morning and have breakfast with him and we'd play like, Scrabble or board games and have breakfast before I had to go get ready for school. And that's why I started drinking coffee, because I was getting of, up early. Did any of your other friends drink coffee in the morning before school? 
I don't know. Well, you got to remember, we didn't have Starbucks and everything like that. I mean, we just... Speaking of, I read somebody from high school shared. She must know kids that are in high school nowadays. Let me know if this is true or if this happens to you guys. But when we went to school, we were not allowed to bring cups or beverages to school. You weren't allowed to chew gum. You, you weren't allowed bring, to chew no. gum, any of that. Like, you had no. to ask permission to go get a sip of water from the fountain. And even that was like, oh, no, no, no. So you pretty much only drank or ate food during lunch period. You went all day without water. Heaven forbid you needed a cough drop. You'd pretty much have to have a doctor's note. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. And now I guess everybody, they were saying, like, Everybody walks in with like their big Stanley cups and their cups of beverages and you're allowed to have beverages in school nowadays. They play hockey in school. Boy, we were imprisoned. I know. I'm like, what a difference. And like, you weren't allowed ripped jeans. That's for sure either. Um, well, I don't think that was a thing when we were, we kind of had, our era was like the preppy, you know, baggy khaki type pants and no but as much as they push like stay hydrated drink plenty of water i'm actually surprised that <laughs> schools back then were like no you're not allowed to have anything unless Some you had a doctor's note you go to the bathroom no yeah going to the bathroom was a big no no but i had good i had good teachers i can't say anything i had good school experience did you have vending machines at your school we did down uh, by the jock lot area we had one it was, it was a garbage drink dispenser that had one of those cups that dropped down and then it would fill your cup with whatever it was supposed to be that was a uh, cheap imitation of the real thing. We had the soda machine. Good morning, how are candy you? Candy bars and chips and all kinds of stuff. Thank you. I like your turtle necklace. Thank you. Cute. Gracias. De nada. Nice hot coffee oh, that is just hot. for you. Yeah. This is a sunshine moment. I swear I heard something. Starbucks and a road trip. My favorite kind of day. Thank you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. You too. Oh, I love that even more. I'm going to start saying that. Have a beautiful day. Instead of have a great day. Make it a beautiful day. Okay, let's go. did pick out a puppy. The puppy is ready to come home around March 1st, so we will be coming back in about a week. But she did pick her puppy. It's a little girl. And they are certified, state certified, um, inspected, and all of that good stuff. And the gentleman that showed us the puppies, he's so sweet. So uh, puppies are all in great health and well taken care of. And yeah, we're so excited. And Liam did so well at first, because all the puppies when he walked in were like high-pitched barking. And he got a little scared and he did the, eh, and he started and I'm like, oh no, it's okay. And then he got used to it and he started smiling really big at the puppies and he had the best time, which was really, really cute. So <sighs> yay, they're inside. I took Liam out to change him and get him ready for the road trip back. Well, yeah, all exciting news. So we're gonna have a new puppy in the family, guys.
Do you have a tooth? <gasps> do we have a tooth? We do. See, I have a bottom tooth poking up. <gasps> yeah. Good morning, everybody. It is two days later. Yesterday, I spent the day pretty much cleaning and organizing, especially the kitchen. I feel like the tasks are piling up and I was like, right, it's just gonna be one of those days where I focus on one room of the house and clear it out. And as you guys could see in this morning's, you know, ritual, the Keurig came back. However, and I told you guys in the last video, I was gonna bring it back. I did not know, because I was talking about the insert. So many of you messaged me over on Instagram, sent me a DM after watching that video, and you said, check your Keurig, because it comes with one of those inserts. If you take that insert out and then put one of the reusable K-cups to put your own coffee grounds in, you can use it. I did not know that this came out. So if you don't know, it comes out. So I, I tested it, I was like, nah, there's no way. There's a way. So. Unfortunately, I donated my reusable K-cups literally a couple weeks ago because I'm like, well, I'm gonna, I cleared out the store and I'm like, well, they don't work in there, so I'm gonna donate them. So now I need to go find some new ones, pull this out, try the theory, and then we can still save and we're good to go and I can get my ratio right. So I did that yesterday. The coffee section is kind of back to how it was. Um, I'll do like a little zoom in, but you know, tis the season. So we have our Robin eggs. Also, so many of you pointed out, and it was really funny that I was talking about the granola being no added sugar. And then also right next to that or right after that, I was talking about these Robin eggs, which are loaded with sugar. So that was kind of funny. My camera was not focusing. But anyway, when it comes to my granola, yeah, I don't like added sugar. But when it comes to my sweets, honey, give me the added sugar. <laughs> what do you want me to do with that bag of Hershey Kisses you got? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so here's the coffee setup. It's kind of looking back to how it was. I have my Peg's Place roast in here, the Graham, and then the blonde roast, which is my favorite. But we have, oh, is that mine? That's loud. Eight, one, three. Oh, fertility. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about, but I think the coffee section. Oh, I was talking about, oh, I know. I have the bags of coffee. That's what I was showing you guys. So if I get those, um, the filler cups, I have these to use, so that would be good. And yesterday for me, as I said, was like a cleaning and organizing day. And then I did that haul of the spring decor that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and a couple of things that I picked over up, picked up over at Target. And I said I was gonna do a full on spring decorating with you guys, but instead of putting those items away, I just started placing them. So I do have a carrot patch sign here and then I'll show you what I've done in the kitchen so far. Also found a spot for that wooden pedestal thing. And here we go. I think that looks so cute, so much better. Something about having the salt and the pepper and whatever organized and up off the table, it just made it easier, also easier to clean off the table. So we have that there. And then when it comes to the shelves, I've done this so far. This is not permanent. It was just me putting the things away in a spot that I had. We still have yet to get this situation figured out with the shelf, but we will get there. They are anchored into the wall that came with anchors. Somebody reached out and said, did you guys anchor them? And we did anchor them with the bolts, the screws, the things that you drill in. We did all the things that you were supposed to do, but for some reason it's just not holding. And as I said at the start of this vlog, Liam, we were looking at him yesterday, he was laying down and I pulled down his little lip and I was like, oh my gosh, I think he has a tooth pulling through or busting through or popping through, whatever you wanna say. And it's true, he has a little tooth at the bottom poking through. So that would explain, remember me talking to you guys about him waking up a lot during the night? That was probably why we were teething, which we knew he was teething, but. Hi you, are you chilling? Post breakfast chill mode? Yeah, you got George? You want the bank? Ah! 100 mile per hour baby. So he is officially teething, he has a tooth. And with some of the other decor again, the little mushrooms I just popped there. And then my bunnies I put back there. But again, I think we will do more of a decorating video when the time comes, but we're just not there yet and I didn't wanna have to put things away twice. So they just put them in places. And I asked you guys about this little guy what 
you would use him for so many great ideas a lot of you said use it in liam's room as a little binky holder um use it for your rings bobby pins hair ties trinkets because it doesn't have like the water hole a lot of you said maybe not a plant but then some people said put succulent in there a little small plant in here candy little little literally anything that you could think of you said use it as i just i think he's cute little bear Hello. and i kind of regret not getting the pig and the frog i should have got them together but you know we got the bear and the bear is cute so we love that and oh that's another thing liam liam is learning how to scream it started on sunday <laughs> it's, it's a screech and a scream <laughs> so he'll go like he's trying to high pitch scream, but sometimes he tries so hard that his mouth is open trying to do it, but it's like that little squeak comes out. So he he has that high pitch real learning how to scream thing, which was fun. Oh, did I show you guys? I showed you the little table or to use the spinner. It's not a spinner. What is that? A pedestal, not really sure. But I put the tulips, those fake tulips in a vase that I had. And I think that really helped the situation pop so besides that guys yesterday like i said i did a lot of cleaning organizing i did some organizing with liam's toys which i'll show what i did yesterday i'll just run it here Dishes, but the dishwasher is full. Are they clean? Yes, I did that yesterday. It's like a, it's a repeat cycle. No, it break out. Oh, it's okay. Got it. We can do it together. I just well, I forgot that it was. <laughs> I should be thankful that we have a dishwasher doing our dishes. Would you like a malt ball? Mm, no, thank you. Okay. Again, I knew that because I did it last night, so I don't know why. I think I just, you know, when you have the list to do and you're thinking of things in your head, you're like, right, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to do this. And then you're like, nope, just kidding. <laughs> you're not. I'm thankful that we have a running dishwasher. Okay, so I was just editing the vlog footage. And I love a good time lapse of cleaning the kitchen, doing the dishes. I love watching those. And the whole thing was in and out of focus. And I'm over here cracking up, laughing at my reaction. You guys know when. You do the dishes. The kitchen is clean. You run the dishwasher. You go to bed. You go to bed happy because you're going to wake up to a clean kitchen. And then you have dirty dishes already from breakfast, from prepping food, from all the good things. And then you're like, right, I'm so tired. I have stuff to do. But I'm just going to, you know, do these dishes while I can. And then you have the full dishwasher. My reaction to that was so funny i'm like why did i get so like distraught over that i have fluff stuck to my finger anyways i came on here to say that was funny and also sorry for the terrible focusing issue and then i had just got off of instagram doing a like a little chat story with you guys talking about pumping and getting this intense feeling of anxiety and agitation I've had this for a long time. I briefly have mentioned it here and there. Not sure if I did on YouTube or on Instagram, but I was like, right, this is getting so intense. And I remember mentioning it to my best friend months ago. I've had the issue for a while. I reached out to her. I'm like, do you ever have that? She's like, no, I don't have that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. It's basically like, oh God, you scared me. I'm like, you were outside. You snuck in. 
Okay, so it's basically like you start pumping. Life is good. Then you start pumping and then you're like <sighs> having to take deep breaths to relax yourself. And I'm counting down the 20 minute timer, 25 minute timer. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Sometimes it's worse than others. So many of you reached out on Instagram saying, number one, you're dealing with the same exact thing. So let me know here on YouTube, guys, if you breastfeed, if you pump, let me know if you get that feeling. And then I guess it has a, a name. If that is what it is, it's called DMER or DMER. I'm not really sure but it is an actual thing and a lot of people were recommending like try to stay relaxed as possible do things that are cozy like somebody a nurse recommended to somebody to put on your favorite movie sit chill while you're nursing while you're feeding while you're pumping whatever to help you kind of like chill and relax However, when I do it, I'm usually trying to multitask. Sometimes I'm chilling, relaxing on the couch, watching a show, and it does help when I'm my mind is elsewhere and I'm not focusing so much on it. But when I was trying to do emails and answer things and multitask with editing while pumping, mm -mm, it wasn't going well. And then I've also noticed I will never eat while pumping, which is so funny and it sounds dramatic, but it is true. Like if you get triggered from pumping and you're dealing with that intense feeling you'll understand why it's like I want to sit and enjoy my food I want to enjoy my lunch I want to enjoy my dinner I do not want to pump while eating anyways it was a whole thing and I'm glad to know that well I'm not glad to know that other people are going through it because it sucks because I know it's not fun but I wish we didn't have to go through that <laughs> and some kind of a hormonal thing that gets released while pumping it causes this whole feeling of ew feelings. Anyways, let me know if you go through the same thing and all of that good stuff. But it was nice to talk to other people that are going through it. Cause I was like, am I the only one that's going through this? Cause I do not like this feeling <laughs> whatsoever. Anyways, guys, I am going to briefly mention, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to, but in the beginning of this video, we went and picked out a puppy and I had talked about that over on Instagram as well. And it did receive some negativity due to the fact that we went to a breeder. And um, I did just wanna say that my mom has rescued animals for over 40 years. We put a lot of insight into where we would get this rough collie, by the way. Um, you know, Cinnamon, you guys know Cinnamon. She was rescued from the slaughterhouse. We had a dog, Pax, that was rescued. He was getting ready to be put down because he was biting people. You don't know if that doggy, that doggy was from my childhood. Um, Lady, another childhood dog that we had, she was rescued. I mean, we've had a lot of rescues. Luna, you know, she was so sick. The vet was like, if you leave her, she's gonna die. You know, she required a lot of medical attention attention. So my family is very into rescuing animals and never would we, you know, support a breeder that had ill intentions. This breeder is certified, state certified, taken care of. Um, but again, we have always rescued animals and this was just a doggy that my mom really wanted. And I don't know, I don't want to ruffle people's feathers. I don't want to offend and you know, we're giving the puppy a good home and a happy place and that's what's important. And we also do understand and respect the importance of rescue as well. So I don't want you guys to think that we don't do that or, you know, are pushing breeding. And anyways, I'll just end that here. Also really quick, before I end this video, I am trying to go back to my three videos a week. I'm still just trying to find like, a good rhythm and I seem to be slacking with that but I am trying to go back to my three days a week hoping to do Tuesday Thursday Saturday uploads as I was previously so we will see fingers crossed guys thank you for being patient with me thank you for being so sweet and so understanding you guys are seriously the sweetest community of people ever so I just wanted to thank you guys for all that but um, I am going to end this video here. I'm also trying to get on in the mornings. This is actually Thursday as I'm filming this. This video is going to go out for you guys tonight. So I'm trying to do morning uploads, but it's just not happening. <laughs> so evening uploads it is, but hopefully, fingers crossed, there will be a Saturday video as well, which means I would need to film tomorrow and edit tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Um, all right, guys. I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys again in the next video.